Pushing forward, football friends. Yeah. Options yeah. available. And space to cross it. Oh my. Ooh. I'm talking about the air <gasps> condition. Relax. <laughs> I, I, I have actually zoned out to what you were saying, and I was like <laughs> looking at or. Yeah, like, uh, damn, bro. I'm gonna shoot yeah. them wide open. What are you doing? Ah, uh, shoot it, shoot it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> breaking that guy's put, put your foot on it. Put your foot on it. Oh, get in there, mine. Put on. Yeah. There you go. What is that like? Seventy something long shots. Look at your hair. As long as you got finesse. <laughs> That's and you do like a bunch of skills and you like charge it up and then it's like all right it's just gonna go in now what's up guys this is lesky and in this video i'll be showing you all a max dribbling winger build for fc 24 clubs and it's so fun to use because it has max pace on top of the max dribbling so we have like 98 acceleration, 99 dribbling, 99 agility on this build. So this build is very responsive, can change directions very quickly and stop on a dime. Looking at the build, you're going to be a left wing or a right wing. The winger position has the best dribbling in the game. And in order to have the highest dribbling possible, you want to go down to the lowest height and weight section. So 5'4", you also can go down to 5'3", but you might as well be an extra inch taller and have the same attributes. For the weight, you can go anywhere in between 99 pounds and 119 pounds. Preferred foot is up to you guys, but this build does have a 5-star weak foot and 5-star skills. Let's take a look at some of the best clips I got while using this build. Oh, I'm running through. Oh, you see it, yeah. My delivers. <laughs> what? You just karate kick chipped it. Yeah, they got oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought you could take it. Nah, bro, that's ridiculous. That was like the thing. Have to read. Yep. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll get that. Change my direction again. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, tech. Dude, uh, that's actually filthy. I need to start doing that. I want more. I want more. You know, that Obito dude. mask that that oh dude Oh my wearing? gosh. That was the best pass I've ever seen. I like your oh. turnage, though. Thanks, man. I like your flourage. That is the best pass I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. They have an AI backline. Doesn't matter when you have this build. Look at that touch. Ooh. It's just sublime. Oh, that was supposed to go to a big, other big boy, but... Oh my gosh, is there space? How you doing? That works every time, wow. You got him for the... Ooh, nice. Yeah. That's... Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're just embarrassed. <laughs> You got it, you got it, you got it. Ooh. The first uh, touch. Let's go. Yeah, yes. you got that door flow. You did the RB flick. Yeah, the, the controlled touch or whatever. This winger build is extremely explosive, and you should have seen the high dribbling attributes on display. And for the majority of the games my teammate and I were using this build, we had rapid plus and first touch plus. This build can change directions very quickly, and I was trying to utilize the effort touch that they added this year in FC24. It's a new mechanic where while you're dribbling, you can hold RB on Xbox or R1 on PlayStation and then flick the right stick wherever you want your guy to make a touch. It's basically like you're doing a touch on demand, and it's very good, and Rapid Plus actually helps improve that. It will help with the normal knock-ons without holding RB or R1, but when you are holding RB or R1, you have a little bit more control. It's like a controlled touch, and you can knock it into space, cut it backwards, and with the high acceleration, the explosive accelerate type, and the 99 agility, this build can change directions very quickly, and if you utilize that, it'll be even better, and that's a big reason why we had Rapid on this build, but it will also help um, for keeping more of that top end speed in those longer distance runs, which will be pretty helpful for a build like this because we have the explosive accelerate type, you will start to lose that top end speed. Um, rapid will just um, extend that a little bit more. 
And then First Touch Plus is one of the best play styles in the game. It works every time you receive a pass from your teammate and you just have that magnet touch and you can transition to dribbling much quicker, which is very nice with this build. But you also could go for really any ball control play style plus. You could try Technical Plus or Press Proven Plus. And then if you like Trickster, you could even give that one a go. If you don't want to go for two ball control play styles as the plus, you could try Quick Step Plus just to make this build even more explosive. Then for the rest of the play styles, we had Finesse Shot, Incisive Pass for a passing play style, but you could substitute this one out for any passing play style, really like Whipped Pass, Tiki Taka, or Pinged Pass would be great. And then we just have Technical and Press Proven for the other ball control play styles but again you could put these as the pluses if you want and then quick step and relentless i did try some games with travella but the stamina is only like 85 on this build so it's not great and if you're going to be tracking back on defense as a winger relentless will be very helpful and before we go to the skill tree i want to mention first touch plus and another way you could utilize it Similar to what I was talking about with Rapid Plus and using RB on Xbox or R1 on PlayStation and then flicking the right stick, you can do the same for First Touch Plus. When the ball's about to come to you, you can do RB flick or R1 flick in any direction you want and your guy will do a first touch animation and it's actually pretty good to get the ball out of your feet and start running. So if you utilize that, you can take even more advantage of First Touch Plus. As I said, I went for all of the pace upgrades, so this build has 98 acceleration and 95 sprint speed. The shooting attributes aren't great, and that's mostly because of the height and weight on this winger build. So I went for the 5 star weak foot, and this build only has 72 shot power, but the best way to score with this build is to use the finesse shot play style or even go for Travella shots. Both of those types of shots don't utilize the shot power stat, so it's not that big of a deal. Only 72 long shots, but you are still able to score some long shots with the finesse shot playstyle because it's just that good. And then on the right side, we're getting some finishing upgrades, getting the other weak foot upgrade, and then going down to the finisher archetype. So 86 finishing and 80 volleys. I went for some passing upgrades because similar to shooting on this build, you lose some passing attributes going down in height and weight. So if I take off all of these upgrades, you'll see that the passing is pretty bad to start out. So on this left side, I'm getting this crossing and vision, plus three vision and plus two crossing for three skill points. And then on the right side, just one skill point for plus two short pass to get that to 83. And then one skill point on this long pass and then two more skill points on long pass to get that up to 71 and make that a bit better. And then lastly, getting this plus two vision to get that to 81. For dribbling, you will do the same as the pace page and get all of these upgrades. So this build has 99 agility, 95 balance, 97 ball control, and 99 dribbling with the five star skills. If you don't use five star skills, you can take this upgrade off and just have four star skills and put those skill points either on passing or shooting, but utilizing skill moves is crucial with this build. The weakest part about this build is the physical attributes, which we'll get to shortly. You're very weak, you have low strength, so you can get thrown off the ball if you get in like a shoulder-shoulder situation with defenders. So using skill moves makes you unpredictable and they allow you to change directions and create space for yourself, which is important on a build like this especially when we go over to this physical page and you see that it only has 59 strength and then on the right side we're getting some stamina upgrades to 85 and relentless will definitely help on this build to make the stamina even better and don't forget about this second section for the reactions upgrades to get that to 89 and that's going to do it for this max dribbling winger build on fc 24 clubs Give it a try and let me know what you think of it in the comments. Hit that like button for me and then don't forget to hit that subscribe button on my channel if you haven't already done so. As always, y'all have a great rest of y'all's day and peace out.